and sanctified it by his angel unto his servant John. Read. Who bear record of the word of who God. Did what? Who bear record of the word of God. So John was bearing record of the word of God. Telling you what? This is what I see is true. What I see, what I see, and I'm telling you, believe. Believe what I'm telling you. Because Christ has revealed it to me. Read. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Huh? And of all things that he saw. Huh? Blessed is he that readeth. So he said what? Blessed is he that reads. Not just the one that listens to what's being said about me, but blessed be the one who's actually reading about me, read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things that are written therein. So he says, blessed are the ones who are hearing it. Blessed are the ones who are keeping the things that they hear. Read. For well, the time is at hand. Because what? The time of Christ's return is at hand. Look at what's going on in the earth today. Look at the wars. Look at our people in the streets. When you can't go get a kit without seeing a bucket of people on drugs. Right. Mainly our people. Right. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. His head and his hair were what? White like wool. So Christ's hair and his hair was white like wool. Do you see any depiction that was given us to our grandmothers? Do you see that in this depiction right here? You don't see that, right? Read. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. You hear that, Marcus? His eyes were as a flame of fire. His hair was as white as snow. But this is the image that they've given us. Yes, right. So if they're willing to give us this image, it's not in the Bible. What else can they lie to us about? Oh, bring it out. Bring it out. They lie to you you're a black woman. They lie to you you're a black man. When God calls the Israelite man and woman. Yes, right. For the tribe of Judah, the same tribe that Christ came from. Hey, Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh huh. As if they burned and a burned. What color is brass, sis? Huh? Brass. Brass. Like a copper, right? Like a copper, right, Marcus? Right? Now, read what is that last word again? And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh huh. As if they burned. As in what? As if they burn where? In a furnace. If you burn anything in the furnace, what color does it turn? Yeah, if you, if you burn something, what color does it turn? It turns black. It turns what, Marcus? Black. It turns black. What's the Bible telling us right now? His what? And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. Remember, we're given a depiction, a description of Christ. He's telling you his feet was black and then they burn in the furnace. So what's the Bible telling us right now? That what? That Christ is a black man. That's right. This is what the Bible is telling us. You are not going to learn this from the people who taught us these religions. We say we're Christians. We say we're Mormons. We say we're Baptists. We say we're Catholics. But none of them teach the true description of Christ. Bring it up. Read. And his voice has been settled of many words. Uh -huh. Give me uh, first, the first Corinthians 10 and 3. I want to show you right now what's happening today. What's happening? Why are we here right now in the street corners teaching the word of God? Why? Did everybody ask us why do we do this? It's because of the faith that we have in our Christ who told us to come to the highways and the byways to teach our people. To break the bands of our people. To break the minds, meaning what? The things that we learned in Christianity. You got that? Uh, uh, Fourth verse, not going on. Maybe second Corinthians 10. Second Corinthians 10. Watch this. Watch what the Bible tells us. Watch what Paul tells us. What was Paul's commission? What was Paul's job to do? What are our job to do today? Read. The look at 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we walk in the flesh. Right? Read. We do not war after the flesh. But we don't war after the flesh. Watch this. going to explain it. Read. Why do we war? Because we see that things are happening to us today, right? The, 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 the flesh in us wants us to go and take revenge ourselves on the people that has caused our people harm. Right? But we don't war after the flesh. What do we war after? Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Walking
walking in the flesh is a carnal mindset. It only fulfills the lust of our flesh. Right? Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But ours, the people who truly believe in God and trust in God, we are what? But mighty through God, huh? to the point down of strongholds. Because our job is to pull down strongholds. Our job is to pull down everything that you thought was right, that what you learned, is wrong the course of the Bible. Read. Casting down imagination. Casting down this imagination here. That says, oh, it's okay to keep Christmas. Oh, it's the birth of Christ. It's okay to keep Easter. You better write that in the third day. It's okay to keep 4th of July, although during the time that these were given to us once again, where were we at? Read the dates. 1608, where were we? 1608, where were we? Marcus, where were we? Slavery. Uh, 1830, where were we? Where were we? We were slaves. But that's when these were created. Bring it up. How do we believe in something at the time they were created when we were in there as captives? Right. Read. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Whatever exalts itself, meaning what? Whatever says that this goes before God is our job to pull it down. To cast down that stronghold. To cast down that imagination. Why? But why? Give me Ezekiel 3. Well, why? That means you gotta ask yourself this. Ask yourself, why are we here? Why did God bring you here today? There's, it's not coincidence. Because he doesn't work in coincidences. He's a perfect God. Ezekiel 3. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 17. So the man, and made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So he said, God has made us watchmen unto the house of Israel. The so-called black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, are from the, the uh, nation of Israel. Right? This is our people. We are all the same people. He has put back on earth the watchmen. Why, Reed? So the man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words in my mouth. So when we come and teach, he is our word, his words come out of our mouths. These are not our words, Reed. And give the warning for me! And do what? And give the warning for me! So it's our job to give you workers warning, to give you um partial warning from God. That's why you're here. We're here to warn you, Reed. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. If anything that goes against God that you're doing, he calls you wicked. So he's giving warning to wicked, what? When I should say unto the wicked, that thou shalt surely die. That you shall surely die, Reed. And that giveth him not warning. But if we don't give you warning, Portia Reed, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, or we don't speak to warn you of the things that you're doing that going against God, Reed, to save his life. Because our job is to what? To save his life. Our job is to save your life. Not carnally, not in the flesh, but what? Not to save your life in the flesh, but I'm trying to save your life how? Spiritually. I'm trying to save your life spiritually. If the day of judgment comes, the flesh will be gone. It's nothing left but your spirit to be saved. Right. Read. The same wicked man, that same person who's rebelling, rebelling against God, what? The same wicked man uh -huh. shall die. Shall die. Read. In his iniquity, you're going to die in your seat if we don't come and warn you. To do what? To turn from the wicked ways. To turn from the things that you have been taught against God. Read. But his blood will I require it by hand. But if we don't warn you, your blood will require it by hand because we didn't do what God told us to do. Read. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, but if we do warn those who are being disobedient to God's word, and he turn not from his wickedness, he decides to, to hell with them and do what I want to do. Because I have grace. I'm saved by the blood of Jesus. Read. Nor from his wicked way, uh -huh. he shall die in his iniquity. You're going to die anyway. But the question is, Porsche, Porsche, do you want to die understanding that you're supposed to serve God and have the chance at getting the kingdom of heaven? Or do you want to die being disobedient to God and understanding your judgment is eternal fire? So you have to be obedient to God.
Men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.